what is up y'all we're back with another video so right here i got dawncraft update one which all y'all been waiting for so right here right here in my hand is a book called a frost log tracker and that's for the ice biome so if you go to the ice biome yeah i'm gonna jump right into this <laughs> just like that but um all right so if you go to the ice biome there's like new biomes you can discover there's like underground biomes you got to discover there's there's a lot of new stuff um i know i don't got the scalibur texture pack on here but y'all can add it if y'all want to right now i'm gonna keep it like it is see because there's one bug right there already but it's also because i'm uh, this this doesn't lag i promise you it don't lag because on mobile i'm not lagging at all i don't know why it keeps lagging on my ps4 but it does so if i go up to this iron goal I should be able to take Bam. Alright, so look. He's straight up he's straight up my iron golem, like. Right? This is this is my golem. My golem. Come sit. There it is. There it is. There it is. It took a minute. Is it is it's lagging a little bit. So uh I appreciate every creator that makes mods. And just so you know, I do shout y'all out. You can go right here to this website right here and it'll show you a lot of creators that you can go subscribe to on their channels. I'm gonna show you how you get some upgraded weapons as well. All right, so to get some elemental weapons, you need this otherworldly device. All right, so you'll place this after you crafted it, and then you would hit it with this um, elemental offering. I think it's lagging right now, yeah, it's just lagging. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Alright, so after you do that, you can trade with it. And see, I can get like all these cool weapons. I can get a shadow blade. I can get. Let's just grab them all. Alright, you got a fire sword. It launches a firewall. Um, you got a shadow blade. Which is. This is my favorite one. Um, you got a void sword. It summons a void. I gotta go, I gotta go over here to do it though. Bam. Oh yeah, it's void swords. Not a void. It's a void swords. Alright, so then you got a black hole blade. It's loud as shit, but you see what it does. Also, your character comes back um like normal. It's just yeah. Bam. Alright, you got a lightning sword. Let's see what the other ones do. Oh yeah, I got item physics on here and they're big swords, so what did that do? Oh it shoots a stream of water. Okay, I see it. I didn't see it last time in the stream. Blood fly. I think this one's cool too. everything bleed it's so loud right now but you know it looks cool all right so then you got a gravity sword if it wasn't lagging it would it would look way better you got an ice sword this freezes uh nearby mobs it's, it made my soul table go up I think that one's cool too. Then we got this last one right here. A Mother Earther. Alright, watch this. Watch this right here. It's pretty cool. It like summons vines up out the ground and makes the world shake. Book, you can right click it and it'll see. That's what I was talking about. Uh, undiscovered and stuff. You gotta uh, discover new, new biomes and things like that. It's kind of like Dawn. I'm trying to make it just like Dawncraft, but it's not going to be exactly like Dawncraft because Java's way better than. You shoot these bows, by the way. You always need an arrow quiver. If you want to shoot any of these crossbows, like any of them, even these up here, you need this arrow quiver in your inventory. So, see, it lets me shoot it now. I think the guy's going to update this mod to where, um,. Pretty much it has effects, like all the weapons have effects and stuff. 
You even got the longbow. Um, we got a paraglider, which just works too. It's just I gotta, I gotta be able to do it a certain way for it to work. And the way I'm doing it isn't gonna work because I'm in creative. So yeah, you need this table right here to make other weapons. It's like advanced weapons. Uh, you can make frozen weapons with this table. So it's it's more tables in the game too. I also took out the combat add-on. You can add it if you want. I'll just put it like in a separate folder or something. All right, this is one boss, which I think's like the biggest boss. I think he's probably the hardest one. Um, you got it. you got Illager 096. Which I know that's probably not something you would really see in Dawncraft, but the mod packs I'm using are they're like I mean the mods that I'm using it just comes with it, so there it is. Uh you got a Yeti. I don't think that's the Yeti boss. Yeah, that's not the Yeti boss. There's 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 a bigger Yeti than that. Um that's not a boss either. A boss actually spawns that. I know that's Freddy Fazbear, but I'm gonna keep it in there. I don't care. They're, they're boss fights and they're cool. All right, there's there's better villages as well. I don't know if I told y'all that already, but there's better villages. You gotta find them. That's a normal village. All right, we got the Revenger. I actually fought this guy on a server. And when I fought him on the server, he was like, I'm a, I'm a, um, I'm gonna leave some server clips. I'm gonna leave some server clips. I'm gonna post them. I'm not gonna post them in this video, but I'm gonna post them. You got a mage, which looks pretty. He, he looks he looks sick as hell. You got the enchanter. The enchanter's actually in Dawncraft too. That mage is in Dawncraft as well. There's some new biomes for y'all to explore. The end. The end. I haven't changed the nether really not much I changed it a little bit but not really there's there's some new stuff in there that I don't want to spoil but other than that the end the end is what really looks different the end looks different a lot uh, you can find structures like this as well like some items you can find from different structures and stuff alright so the glowstone totem is made it's not it's not showing it on here what it's for but on mobile it shows what it's for so what that's for is when you're around glowstone and you use it it pretty much gives you night vision all right so you got heavy boots if you get a full set of the fortress um, armor you'll get fire resistance by the way um, looks dumb on my skin <laughs> uh, you got a curing kit you got it. It was the loudest shit. This works, by the way, but you gotta use it in a village, otherwise it won't work. Uh, you got a ship in a bottle, which I'm in creative, so it's being stupid. You got a shulker shell guard, which I think it defends you from shulkers. Common sense. You got a pet right here that you can um, summon in. You got this encrusted hammer. I think it does damage to mobs when you hit them. But I can't hit that or nothing. Look. So. This summons a zombie for you. This is, um. This. Yeah. You saw what it does. It's pretty much turned you into an evoker. Uh, you got another pet. Which you can't have two pets at the same time. But you can bring the other one back if you still have that other thing. Because this pet's for water. Um. You got Glove of Frost, which throws ice blocks. Uh, this is pretty cool, this potion. It does, it, it literally does that. I mean, it tells you what it does. You got Tome of Ice. Which is also cool. Then you got this other pet that you can have. So that would be a way you could have, like, up to three pets. Alright, so, yeah. I'm going to leave the video here. Y'all like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the bell, and stay frosty, y'all.